Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Chromebook tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream to Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and many other live streaming platforms all from your Chromebook. And you can do that simultaneously. So in this tutorial, we'll be using a company called Restream. They're a very popular company. They are used by many big companies and big streamers to stream to many different streaming platforms at the same time. And they recently came out with an update that allows you to do it from your Chromebook using just your browser. So you don't even have to install anything on your Chromebook. And by the way, this is all going to be free. They do have three different versions, one being free, which as you can see, does allow you to stream up to 30 different platforms. And they also have several different paid versions. And we'll be going over some of the main differences between the free version and the paid version. If you do end up going with the paid version, check the description because the link down there, if you use that to sign up for the paid version, you'll get $10 off your first month. But in this one, we'll just be doing the free version. All right, so the first thing you need to do is simply go to restream.io in your browser and check the description because I'll have all the links that I discussed down there as well as a detailed write-up in case you get lost. All right, so once you get there, go up to Get Started in the top right and then just create your account with your username, email address, and password. All right, so when you first get into Restream, you'll be asked to first add channels. So these are going to be the different live streaming platforms that are available. They have a few that are up here in their suggestions like YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn. If you want to see the full list, go to add channel and you can see all the different live streaming platforms that are available. They have a huge list down here. So you can even get like Mixer, Periscope on Twitter, all those things, and you can stream simultaneously. In this tutorial, I'm just going to make it easy. So I'll be just be doing Twitch but you would just go through the same steps that I go through to set up Twitch on any of the other platforms. So I'm gonna to go to Twitch. Now when I select it, it's gonna ask me to connect Twitch. So that means I'm gonna to have to log in and then give Restream access. And as you can see, they do have a lot of access. So I recommend going through here, making sure that you're okay with all this. They need a lot of this access to actually be able to stream and create videos on your account, different things like that. So I'm gonna to go to authorize. And then as you have your list of different platforms here, you can turn them on and off by doing the toggle switch right here. Now from this screen right here, this would be if you're using a computer with like OBS or something to live stream. Now, if we want to live stream from our Chromebook, what we need to do is go over to the left sidebar and you'll see a little camera that's live studio, select that. And then you'll be asked to give access to your microphone and your camera. So I'm going to allow that. You need to allow that if you're going to be using those things. All right, so now that we've granted access, let's go over the layout right here. So basically this black area right here is going to be what your stream will look like when it's actually being streamed to either Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, any of those platforms you choose from. One thing to keep in mind with the free version, there will be a little powered by Restream in the top right up there. That is a small advertisement for the company, which I don't think is bad since it's, this is a free service. Down here, we have some controls. This is where we can turn on and off our microphone, mute it, unmute it and we have we can turn on and off our camera so i can turn it on real quick you can see that turn it off we can also share our screen so unfortunately it doesn't seem like you can actually use both of them at the same time you can't have your screen on your chromebook and then overlay your webcam but we can do either or so let's go ahead and turn that on so you can see what that looks like so i'll click that you have a couple different options in here your entire screen so this is going to be anything that's on your chromebook if you're watching a youtube video or playing a game that would work for that you also have application windows. You can pick a specific application running on your Chromebook or even just a specific Chrome tab in the Chrome browser. So on entire screen, I have two here only because I have my Chromebook plugged into another display, but you would just select built-in display if you don't have it plugged into anything and then go down to the bottom right and select share. So as you can see now, the little stream example area is showing my display on my Chromebook. So this is what it would look like if it were to stream right now. All right, so over here on the right, we have a couple different options to go through chat. This will show the chat for any of the platforms that you enable. So if you enable Twitch and Mixer, if anybody is chatting to you on those platforms, you'll see it here in this sidebar. We have captions, and this allows you to actually display something on your stream. So they have some examples here, and if I select it, you can see it shows up on the bottom of my stream like this. So I can have like little advertisements to follow me on Instagram or subscribe on YouTube. So I'll just make one of those real quick. So I made one subscribe now on YouTube and then I gave the YouTube username. So I'll add the caption and then I can show that real quick. You see what that looks like. So pretty cool. And you can quickly hide them and show them by just selecting that like right there. You can also delete them by just selecting the little X next to it. After captions, we have graphics and this is where 
if you upgrade, you can upload custom graphics, overlays, backgrounds, things like that. You Unfortunately, you will not have that available to you if you are just using the free version. So really, all you can do here is kind of just turn things on and off and see what it will look like if you had an overlay and the ability to do that. So we can go ahead and skip this. After that, we have setup. And this is where we can create the title for our stream. And then if we change that during the stream, we can update it very quickly by going to update all. You can also see where you're streaming in your list of destinations and then turn it on and off. Now, one quick thing with the webcam that I forgot to go over. If you want to change the webcam because you're using an external webcam or you're using a external microphone, you can select those here in the list. Just select the drop down and then if you have it plugged in like a Logitech C920, you could select it in this list right here. So now we're basically ready to go. I have my setup connected to the destinations I want to stream to, and I have my screen being shared to restream. All I need to do now is select go live. And as you can see here, it now says it's live. And it says over here in the destinations under setup that it is sending data to Twitch. So that means that it is currently live streaming to Twitch. If I select this over here, Twitch, it'll open up that specific stream. So I can see an example of what it looks like. And there you go, you can see it on Twitch. I am live streaming. There's an example of what the Restream logo looks like. And this is streaming in 720, which is the native resolution of my Chromebook. So this is the highest quality I can stream in. Now just as a test, if I say something in the chat and go back to Restream, then go to the chat, I can see what it looks like. It shows me the text and it also shows me that it was on Twitch. I can also select show right here and that'll bring it up on my stream. So if you get a chat that you want to respond to, you can quickly show that up on your stream to everybody that's watching, which is really cool. I think that's awesome. And once I'm done streaming and I want to go ahead and end my stream, all I need to do is go up into the top right up here and select finish. It'll ask me if I want to finish the stream, I'll select OK. And then it will say finishing. If I go back to setup, I can now see that Twitch is offline. All right, so that's how you live stream to multiple platforms from your Chromebook. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Chromebook or live streaming tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets. More gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.